Dave, we all remember this. 15 years ago this August was Hurricane Katrina. We're coming up on the 15th anniversary. The monster storm claimed more than 1,800 lives. Ahead of the anniversary, there's a new book out talking about the real reasons why the levees failed us. Joining us now with more on that, the book's author and the founder of levees.org, Sandy Rosenthal. Sandy, how are you? Good morning, I'm wonderful, thank you. And uh, as we look back and, uh, over, over time, you know, a lot of things get clearer in some of the problems we saw with Hurricane Katrina. And at first we thought it was a natural disaster. We learned uh, later it was clearly a man-made disaster. Well, that's right. And a lot of the people here in New Orleans understand that now, but the whole rest of the country needs to know why New Orleans flooded. And so my goal was to write a readable and engaging, but also data dense and very documented story on why New Orleans flooded. And, and hopefully we've ac I've accomplished that goal. And you, along with a lot of other people, we here on Channel 4, we're, we're all calling for floodgates, better levee protection, things like that. Uh, you really took it to the nth degree. Well, the, the survivors of this flood deserve for not just for the whole country to understand why New Orleans flooded, but the survivors deserve for our children's children to have better flood protection. It, it seemed to me at the time a no-brainer. And what new do we learn in your book that we don't already know about why the levees failed? The main thing that I talk about is how not only is the Army Corps of Engineers fully responsible for the flooding of New Orleans, but in addition to that, the Army Corps spent millions and millions to try to hide that from the American public and from Congress. They spent a lot of money fooling the public and they harassed anyone who stood up to them, including a lot of people besides me and my organization. And you remember very well that uh, we were all calling for floodgates on those three outfall canals, and, and the Corps said it was not in, in their uh, uh, purview to do that, and we pushed and pushed and pushed, and finally they relented, and we have the floodgates now. There absolutely should have been floodgates uh, before Hurricane Katrina arrived. Uh, why we didn't is part of the subject of this book, but the Army Corps on their own decided not to build them. They, de they determined that raising the, the, uh, raising the walls of the flood walls was just as good as floodgates. In fact, they were cheaper. So that is the reason that the Army Corps chose uh, raising the flood walls. Well, and they also claimed that they were not authorized to uh, to build the, the floodgates by Congress. Uh, and, and when we look at so, some of the flood walls we did have, some of the levees, uh, some of them were so poorly constructed, they didn't have a chance. They, they were so poorly constructed that an engineering student could have seen them had they been shown no design. We, we, were, these, we were doomed to fail. These levees were destined to fail. And that's what the people of this country need to understand. And by the way, the Army Corps of Engineers didn't hide this from the American public all by themselves. They hid this from the American public with the help of the engineering establishment, establishment uh, most specifically the American Society of Civil Engineers. Yeah. And they did it in cooperation with the media which is something I go into in great detail in the book. So the Army Corps of Engineers, as long as they were, didn't hide it all by themselves. Okay. They hid it mm -hmm. and well, money. Ho hopefully and we're better money. protected now than, than we were. We are better protected. The, uh, there was a political decision to build 100 year protection for all of the area. Uh, which is which is which is relating to flood insurance yeah. and politics. It was a political decision. It's Had much better. The, it's much better. But I'm out of time. I got to say, you're signing okay. your book at Octavia Bookstore. 